Okay. So let's talk about strats here for a second. Now, strats are obviously one of the most iconic, amazing guitars, incredibly unique sound, but they all have one big problem. And I want you guys to tell me if you can relate to this problem because the problem is that amazing sound. Literally the word stratty is an adjective that guitar players use to describe a tone. So let me, let me get plugged in here real quick and uh, I'll show you exactly what I mean. And I'll explain the problem that it has created for us guitar players. So, that's a very stratty sound, right? Makes sense because it's a strat. Now, the problem is what I just did. And I want you to tell me if you can relate to this as well. Because when I pick up a strat, I play it like a strat. Or these kind of like preconceived notions that I have in my mind of what what a strat sound like. What, that, this is the way you play a strat. And it's because the influence of guys like Jimi Hendrix, SRV, Eric Johnson, all these, you know, incredible, incredible players that, you know, that we all wish to be a fraction as good as they are, their influence is so solidified in the tone of the instrument. So a strat's biggest strength, which is how unique it sounds, is also its biggest weakness at times. And it's up to us as the players to approach it differently. I just had this like realization the other day that I'm like, you know, I approach each guitar differently, which is a, a good thing to do, I think. And, you know, at least it is in my outlook. But I also have kind of boxed away guitars in a way that I don't know if I should be doing that. When I think of a Strat, I have a very particular thing in mind. I approach it as a Strat. When I go to a Tele, I approach it like a Tele. So perhaps the style of the guitar should not dictate so much of the tone of the guitar, if you know what I mean. A challenge to myself was I wanted to write a riff that did not sound like a Strat, and I did not approach it like I would a Strat. You know, a lot of times with Strats, I'm playing, you know, very, like I said, double stoppy, up here high, nice smooth leads. Well, I try to be smooth. I don't know how smooth they are, but, you know, that is my typical approach to a Strat, because part of growing as a musician, growing as players, it's not always about learning a new chord, a new scale, new lick. It's also about changing the way we approach. You can learn a lot just by trying to change the way you're looking at it, because I learned a whole lot, and I'm gonna tell you about it here in just a second. So here's the riff I came up with. Tell me if you think it sounds like this would be a Strat riff. So in my opinion, that did not sound like a Strat. Obviously, there's lots of effects on there that you could make that sound like any guitar, but my approach, the way I had to kind of shut off the way that I normally play a Strat was really interesting to me because it made me approach a Strat in a different way. I was like, you know what? I don't usually do with Strats. I'm not real riffy, you know? I, it's always that, you know, d double stop or leads. You know, I, I kind of view a Strat as a very lead instrument where a Les Paul is a very riffy instrument for me. So. I know that that's probably like ridiculous because you can do whatever you want with them, but I was like, well, let's really try to like focus on like a, you know, a lower end riff down here. And then I just started messing around with effects and stuff. And I'm like, hey, this is not something I would have normally played on a Strat. So a big takeaway for me here was that you can actually change the way you're playing just by trying to shut off the idea of like, well, what do I always do on a Strat? I bet if you sit there and think about the way that you normally play a Strat, just try to do the opposite, you know, and see what happens. You're gonna come up with some cool stuff. It's gonna be really inspiring. I was excited when I came up with the, you know, I'm tuned to standard now, not drop D anymore, but that's the kind of stuff that I think gets us excited as players. It's a problem that all strats have because strats are just so awesome. They have this inherent like ability to just sound like a strat because that's what they are. So anyways, I'm gonna bounce on out of here, guys. I hope you all have a good rest of your day. Let me know, do you suffer from this too? Do you pick up a Strat and you kinda just always play it the same way because 
This is making me look at all the guitars differently. I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna try to play a Strat like a Les Paul. I'm gonna try to play a Les Paul like a Strat. You can see how that all goes because, you know, it's probably gonna be a train wreck. But anyways, I'm gonna end it bluesy, not stratty, on a Strat. <laughs> Is there jazz in there? What just happened?